I have a viewer asking about these mounts that I have on my Tronxy X5SA 3D printer that I have uh, modified to uh, quite a certain extent beyond what it came stock. <clears throat> and I thought I should point out a few things uh, beyond just a link to this in Thingiverse, and also there's a link in the description. Uh, also, the material that I used is... oh... where is it? There it is. Nope, 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 uh, nope. Where is it? Oh. Yeah, there it is. It's on my other 3D printer. Uh, it's this Polymaker uh, PC Blend, or... What is it? Sorry. Polymax PC, there we are. <clears throat> it's a very good, durable material for doing things like... Uh, mounts and fan ducts because it doesn't creep or act goofy under high temperature uh, like this fan mount here that I designed and installed onto this uh, Hamera XS but it's also a Revo you can see the Revo nozzle there I'm <clears throat> I'm still working on the design for this uh, mount for BL touch twin 5015 fans uh, twin ducts down to the nozzle there so um, maybe in the future look in the description and I'll have a link to that once it's more polished and ready to go um, also you really need to use uh, engineering grade materials not I mean I say that lightly uh, just don't use PLA or anything that's gonna creep or do bad under heat um, like ABS ASA uh, PA CF would be good uh, anyways, onto the belts. You can see there I have modified the arrangement of my pulleys on that side and that side. Um, I did have to get longer bolts. I believe those are M6. Jeez, I have much junk in here. I had to get longer bolts for that. Um, let's see, these go up to M5, and I think these are M6. No, I'm not sure. Tell you what, we'll take an M5 washer and see if it fits on there. Okay, yeah, so those are M5. <laughs> Sorry for my professionalism here. Additionally, in the back, I used new mounts. Those are M3, I believe. No, 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 those are M5s, because uh, you can get M5 T-nuts, and that's what I got. So I got M5 T-nuts, I got a set of washers, so that's M5 washers there. In order to mount the other pulleys just directly on the rail like that, well, you see it's more than just M5 washers. There's a, a larger washer there, too. So that on both sides. And all of the mounting here on the original bracket is, I think, the same. Except I use zip ties. I think they might have used zip ties originally. Uh, but also the order of installation for these is a little bit uh, goofy or challenging. And I don't remember exactly what it is. Uh, you'll just have to trial and error a few times. Also, be careful about printing in these uh, better materials because some of them do have shrink rates of like 0.5% or something and so my motors just barely didn't fit and I had to ream out the boss that those sit in with a Dremel a little bit <clears throat> just to get them to fit so you might want to scale up the mounts that you download by about 0.5% before you print them and then everything should fit better I hope I think uh, <clears throat> And so this is, in case you're wondering what I'm printing, uh, water wheel buckets. I was having a problem printing these with, uh, let's see, I had this .6 nozzle. I don't know why I'm showing it to you guys. I had this .6 nozzle on there for a while, and it just kept failing part way through. Uh, pardon my mess. Just kind of throwing things around until I get everything done. I had a few failures. You know, this represents uh, probably three... 
three spools worth of failures, but not three kilograms, because I can still use the remainder of the spool when I found this and caught it. Except for this one, where it went the whole way for three of them. So that's unprofessional. Uh, anyways, I can show you over here I have printed quite a few of these buckets and I have my spokes here you know 3d printer inspired I got some 2020 extrusion those will be my spokes for the water wheel and I got my buckets here these are actually already attached and I just have to keep printing more and more and then I'll have something really interesting for a video in the future all right that's all I got bye